Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Let's focus a little on time for a moment. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think about time is Einstein's great thought experiment. What would it be like to be riding on a photon at the speed of light? Yes, that was uh, Einstein's Greek big question was, if I'm moving at the speed of light and I held up a mirror, would I see my face? And at first, your mind does a double take on that. Well, why wouldn't he see his face? Oh, but wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he's moving at the speed of light, then he, the light that's f shining from his face is moving right alongside of him, and he, he, he never catches up to the mirror because it's always ahead. <laughs> so he never, he, there, it's just a blank mirror. He doesn't see anything. Uh -huh. And so the, Einstein was bothered by that. He mm -hmm. wanted to see something. Yeah. <laughs> he, he wanted to see his punum. He wanted to see his face in that mirror. Mm -hmm. So uh, he began to wonder what it is about physics that would uh, allow one to think about such things as what happens when you're moving at the speed yeah. of light. And it turns out that in order to do that, in order to understand that, he had to make a singular postulate. Mm -hmm. It was considered at that time, and it probably for all time, to be the most amazing singular postulate pulled out of the blue. Uh, other than Dirac, who I'll, we may we'll talk about a little later. Dirac later, yes. yes. Uh, that uh, that Einstein's uh, point of view was instrumentally magical, and it was totally out of the blue. And that is that there is no speed that is greater than the speed of light. He didn't quite say it that way, but what he said is that regardless of what speed you're moving at, the speed of light, as far as you are concerned, will always be the same speed, regardless of whether you're approaching a source of light or moving away from a speed of moving away from a source of light. That may seem well, okay, I understand, but I do well, I it really? totally defies conventional Newtonian it, it, physics. It does. It does because let's say you're in a uh, an airplane and yeah. you're you're flying uh, towards a city or something like that, and um, uh, you uh, uh, the airplane is moving at a say a certain speed, um, and five hundred miles an say, hour. Let's let's say a hundred miles an hour, and uh, uh, somebody uh, down below is watching. Uh, you as you're w walking down the aisle of the airplane. Mm. And uh, if he forgets there's an airplane flying and just watches you, and you're moving at say one mile an hour mm. and the airplane's going at 100 miles an hour, he just watches you, you would be having a speed of 101 miles per hour. Right. So that makes sense. Uh, but uh, when it comes to the speed of light, uh, if that was a not a human being going from one end of the airplane to the other, but a particle of light, a photon uh, uh, mm -hmm. moving at the speed of light, then the person on the airplane would measure the speed to be the speed of light, but so would the person on the ground. Mm -hmm. He would see this, the light being moving at the same speed, regardless of the fact that the airplane is moving at 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't see the speed of light from his perspective as the speed of light plus 100 miles per hour. Yeah. He would only see it the same number that you measure and that says drives you crazy how can that be how can it how can it be that there's two contradictory stories being told here and the answer is when you come to light space and time begin to change their whole texture mm -hmm. they become intertwangled uh, they become intermixed so to speak mm -hmm. and what is space for one can be time for another vice versa and space time then becomes a um, an emerging concept and this is what uh, Einstein's basic idea yeah. led to. And if you were riding on a photon at the speed of light and you had a watch on, the watch wouldn't move at all, would it? Well, that's the next thing which arises from this, yeah. as we said.